Can you play good golf with second-hand golf clubs? We're going to find out in today's video. I recently went down to the pro shop at Warrington Golf Club and I purchased some Wilson Fat Shaft second-hand irons because I want to know, with more golfers coming into the game now, also the prices of golf clubs rising and rising, I think the second-hand market is really going to take off and a lot more golfers are going to look there to buy their new set of golf clubs. So with that being said, Buying a second-hand club, will it actually affect your performance out on the golf course? If you went and got a brand new golf club, would we see that you were drastically better? Or can you still play good golf with second-hand golf clubs? The irons that I bought are the Wilson FS Fat Shafts. They cost me £80, and these irons were actually released back in 1999, so they're 23 years old. So are we going to see, obviously, that there's not as much technology benefits in there? Very, very basic when we actually look at the iron, there isn't a lot of perimeter weighting features that we would see in new ones we would maybe see the new hollow heads coming into play injection molding different types of faces on there as where well. these just look like a cast iron with a bit of a cavity on them and then they've got a bigger sole um, with a bit more weight space around the outer perimeter of the club to help us with forgiveness also we know lofts have changed we know that lofts are getting stronger to try and get the ball going further. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna put these on the simulator here on the GC2, hit some with a five iron and a seven iron to get a gauge of how far they're going. And then I'm gonna put them up against a new set of Wilson Staff CBs just to see what the difference is in the distance. I'll have a good idea of how far these are then going. I'm gonna head out onto the golf course at Formby Ladies to play six holes and see what my score would be using just these irons and answer the question of, can you play good golf with a second hand set of golf clubs? Let's get on the simulator and find out how far these irons are going. How long is anything? Get in the hole, baby. So really interesting, just a couple of shots in, I've noticed after putting the clubs down, they felt longer to me. And there's the staff model CB. And then as we pan up here, we can see it's got an extra inch of loft there. The, um, the band on the shaft actually has something about them being dynamically fit. So already there, buying second-hand golf clubs, you've got to be wary of what you're buying because these are actually longer than a standard set. So if you were short and you were buying these, probably not going to work out for you. So something to bear in mind. Let's carry on hitting. Oh, that was bad. Okay, have all. That's five with the FSs. Let's get on to the staff CBs. These feel like children's clubs now back in my hands. <laughs> Whole ball. Oh, that's a little bit left, Matthew. Oh, that's also left. No. Good bounce, and it goes in. Ooh. Go on then. Stay on your line. Ooh. Right, let's take a look at the results. So that's five shots there with each on the launch monitor and really interesting actually. A, that fact about 
the clubs, the FS being longer straight away. I didn't even notice that in the shop, but when I had them here and I was about to hit golf balls, it just sprung out to me. It just jumped right off the page that they are longer. They are an inch longer. Looking at the distances, it is interesting how they have come out. The seven irons were pretty much identical and actually, the fat shaft iron, the FS one, came out longer than the Staff CB model. The FS was flying 164 and the Staff CB flying 163. When we go on to the five iron, however, there was a bit of a dramatic change, 12 yards between them. 194 for the Staff CB and then 182 for the FS five iron. Now, as time goes on, like I said earlier, these irons are 23 years old. What you would notice as these irons have been used over those past 23 years, the lofts might actually change. So A, looking at that length perspective, then also if you were to buy a second hand set, I would get them loft and lied when you were or when you have bought them to make sure everything runs in the correct segments because it might be that that five iron actually is bent in time and added more loft on it. So I've come down to Formby Ladies and I'm going to play the first six holes here and see how I get on. I would quantify good golf with irons only being level par around here. So that's what I'm aiming for. I've got my set three down to Sam Wedge. Let's see how we go. Hole one, par four. Well, I've hit it straight down the path, literally landed on the path and it's bouncing and we're in a little bit of heather. A bit of trouble to start off with, but we'll be okay. Bounce through the middle, bounce through the middle. Go on. Skill. Oh, shit, the flock had not gone in. I should have taken it out, it was leaning. Oh well, par. Just, just on the edge of the rough. Should be okay though. Gonna be smart here and have a little layup. Wedge, wedge. Perfect. Safely done. Lovely. 131, I'd normally hit just a wedge here, but I'm just gonna hit a little nine iron knowing that it might not go as far. Turning wind. Stay, no! Oh my. <sighs> Four and a half that time. A little bit of a misread. I thought it would swing more. Easy pile up. First initial thoughts out on the golf course. Happy with them. Obviously the clubs aren't to my spec and I'm glad we did that little test in the uh, simulator, but not seeing that it's impacting my golf too much, hitting shots I want to hit and uh, actually playing quite nicely. Let's carry on, see if we can get this level par. Be nice to make a birdie here, come on. Go on. Oh, I thought I was going to move that way. Easy tapping par though. Two to go. Jesus. <laughs> I was watching it and I was like, no, that's gonna fall, that's literally gonna, I was like, this could be going in the hole. It was right over and I was thinking, 
yeah, that's fine. It's going to come short. It's going to come short. And then I saw him here. I was like, oh, it's going long. <laughs> right. That is a nasty pin. Nasty pin location. Hmm. I thought that one would move. One ninety five, gonna go six iron here. Final hole, good swing and we're we're away. Oh a little bit skinny, but it's straight down the flag, good bounce, come on, chase up, chase up for me, chase up. I think we're nearly on the front edge. Two putts and I will shoot that level par. So can you play good golf with second hand irons? The answer is definitely yes. Now, depending on skill level, that's gonna have a greater effect on your ability to adapt to these irons. But what I would say is that when you do go out and if you are looking at buying second hand golf clubs, make sure that A, you either try and try them or do a little bit of research like I did with these here. I walked into the shop and just picked them up because they fitted the price point. I didn't really look at the length of them until I got them on the sim. I didn't know about that. But if you do your homework, you have a look at what shafts are in there, the length, the makeup of them. And even after you've got them, maybe take them to your local pro shop and just get a little MOT on them, check the loft and lies are right, length, etc., or even the grips you might need changing. I think it's a great way for people to buy new clubs, get into big brands, be um, able even just to get into the sport. So do second-hand clubs allow you to play good golf? Of course they do. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm just going to go and make my two putt and play some good golf with second hand irons. See you in the next one. Easily done, level par. <laughs>